Welcome back in this last segment of the Sports Source brought to you by the law offices of Ogle, Elrod, and Brill. In terms of workers' comp, personal injury, bankruptcy, uh, family law, criminal defense, whatever your legal need, this is the team to turn to. You see their website right there on your screen. Uh, when you call these guys Monday through Friday, you're going to talk to an attorney. They've got a great team of assistants and paralegals, but you will get answers to your legal questions from an attorney. The law offices of Ogle, Elrod, and Burrill. All right, back with the whole hee-haw gang here. Uh, <laughs> Vanderbilt has won two in a row against Tennessee. Yes. The game before that, they took Tennessee to overtime. Vanderbilt suddenly a, a, a real rival for the Vols, <clears throat> but they're awful this year. Derek Mason, Derek Mason inherited an extremely young team, much like Butch Jones. He hadn't done much, much with it. Where do you put the line for Tennessee's visit to Vanderbilt, Chuck? Oh boy, I know what. Vanderbilt coming off a 51 to nothing loss yesterday. What, 34 nothing at the half. I yes. Think. So So they only got outscored by 17 to second. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, they I've improved. had another great season of prognostication on this show. I think I was the only person on the panel to pick Missouri last week. Uh, uh, no, no, up. no. I said I, I said Tennessee Missouri. would cover your line. <laughs> oh, okay. But I picked Missouri to win. I've got I didn't Vanderbilt. Say that. You didn't say that. But okay. <laughs> I've got Vanderbilt is a 20-point underdog against the Tennessee Volunteers. Okay. Does Tennessee cover a 20-point spread against Vandy? Uh, in the first half. <laughs> wow. Setting that ex setting that bar. Yes, <laughs> yes, I am. Yes. Yes. Absolutely, baby. If we if we get all our Tennessee fans down, it might be thirty. Yeah. UT is look. UT is their bowl game. I think Vandy. If they're going to play a good game all year, it's going to be next Saturday. Is there any chance they beat Tennessee? No, they're not going to beat Tennessee, but I think they'll cover. You think they'll cover the twenty? Uh huh. Okay. Very good, Bobby. Might as well I disagree agree, with that. I agree with that. I, I learned. I learned not to, not to buck Jimmy. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy's been Mr. Contrarian all day. All right. And again, all the bad year. thing is, don't go to war with a guy who's got 20 hours of airtime during the week. All right. Uh, I want to say uh, thanks to all these guys. Thanks to you. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and we will see you right back here next week on the Sports Source. But uh, as we leave, you want to remind. Oh. Overtime segment. That's coming up on SportsSource.tv later this afternoon. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. We're going to talk a little bit about how much you should blame refs. We'll discuss that. But then um, coming up tonight at 11:35, there you go. It's Six Sports Sunday, powered by the Sports Source. Michael Spencer who does a great job at WATE, along with our own Sterling Hinton, Will Overstreet, and Josh Ward. Check that out tonight, and we will see you next Sunday on the Sports Source. The views expressed in this forum do not necessarily reflect those of WATE6 or of 6 Sports. This has been a paid program.